Recruitment is a crucial process for businesses as it involves selecting the right individuals to fill specific job roles within the organisation. To streamline this process and make informed decisions, various types of recruitment documentation are used. These documents help define the requirements of a job, assess the qualifications of applicants, and ultimately aid in the selection of the most suitable candidates. In this video, we will explore the different types of recruitment documentation used in business, which are the person specification, the job description, the application form, and the curriculum vitae, which is also known as the CV. First up, it's a person specification, which could be viewed as a blueprint created by the hiring organisation to articulate the ideal candidate profile for a vacant position. By providing detailed information about the qualifications, skills, experience, and personal attributes desired in a candidate, the person specification helps align applicant expectations with the company's needs. The contents of a person specification typically include several key sections. These are the educational background, which outlines the required educational qualifications or certifications for the job. For instance, it may specify that applicants must hold a bachelor's degree in business management. Another common section is focused on the specific skills and competencies necessary to perform the job effectively. This could include technical skills such as proficiency in customer service systems or soft skills like communication and teamwork. A person specification also specifies the amount and type of prior work experience expected from applicants. For instance, a person specification for a senior management role might require at least five years of relevant experience. And while less common, some person specifications may also include personal qualities or hobbies that the organisation values. One significant feature of a person specification is the division of criteria into two categories. These are essential and desirable. The essential criteria represents the non-negotiable qualifications and skills required to apply for the position. For example, if a candidate must have a bachelor's degree in business management to be eligible for the role, it is categorised as an essential requirement. On the other hand, desirable criteria are qualifications, skills or attributes that are not mandatory, but would enhance an applicant's suitability for the role. For example, consider a job posting for a marketing assistant position. The person specification might state that GCSEs in maths and English are essential, while having a degree in business or marketing could be listed as desirable. The person specification is a key document for both the recruitment team and applicants. It helps applicants assess whether they meet the requirements and whether the position aligns with their career goals. For the organisation, it ensures that the selection process is based on clear and consistent criteria, reducing the chances of bias in the hiring process. Let's now move on and explore the job description. A job description complements a person specification by providing a comprehensive overview of the vacant position and its associated responsibilities within the organisation. While the person specification focuses on the qualifications and attributes of the ideal candidate, the job description outlines the role itself. A typical job description includes several key elements, which include the job title. This is the official title of the position within the organisation, such as marketing manager or team leader. The job description may also specify the salary range or hourly rate associated with the position. This information helps applicants to understand how much they will get paid for the role. If applicable, details about any performance-based bonuses or incentives may be included. The job description often mentions the expected working hours, including regular business hours, overtime expectations or shift work. Importantly, a job specification will also specify the location where the job is based, which is important for candidates to consider, especially if relocation or commuting is involved. The core duties and responsibilities associated with the role are also provided to give potential candidates a clear understanding of what the job entails on a day-to-day -day basis. The job description may also include information about the reporting structure, providing information about who the new employee will report to within the organisation's hierarchy. This helps applicants to understand what their position would be within the company's structure. For example, imagine a job description for a graphic designer position at a creative agency. 
it might specify that the role involves creating visual assets for client projects, collaborating with a creative team and reporting to the art director. The job description serves multiple purposes. It not only informs potential candidates about the nature of the job, but also helps the organisation set clear expectations for the role. In addition, it serves as a reference point for performance evaluations once the candidate is hired. On to the next key piece of recruitment documentation, it's the application form. An application form is a standardised document that job applicants complete when expressing their interest in a specific position. It is a structured way for the organisation to gather essential information about applicants, ensuring that all necessary details are provided consistently. Typically, an application form includes several key sections, which include personal details, which collects basic information about the applicant, such as their name, contact information, and sometimes demographic data for equal opportunity monitoring. Applicants are also required to list their educational background, including the names of institutions attended, qualifications earned, and graduation dates. Applicants will usually be asked to provide a detailed account of their work history, including past employers, job titles, dates of employment, and job responsibilities. Skills and qualifications is another key section, which requires applicants to list the relevant skills, certifications, and qualifications that make them suitable for the position that they're applying for. Some application forms request references, which are typically individuals who can vouch for the applicant's skills, experience and character. These references may be contacted by the employer during the selection process. And in many application forms, there is space for applicants to include a cover letter or personal statement. This is where applicants can explain why they believe they are the best fit for the role, highlighting their relevant skills and experiences. Application forms are valuable because they ensure consistency in the information collected from candidates. This consistency simplifies the review and comparison of applicants. Additionally, application forms often contain a section where applicants sign to acknowledge that the information that they have provided is accurate, which reinforces the importance of honesty in the application process. Now we move on to the final key piece of recruitment documentation, which is the curriculum vitae. A curriculum vitae, or CV for short, is a comprehensive document created by the applicant. It provides an in-depth overview of the candidate's qualifications, work experience, skills and achievements. In essence, a CV is a personal marketing document that showcases an applicant's professional journey and capabilities. Key sections typically found in a CV include contact information, which contains the applicant's name, phone number, email address and sometimes a physical address. Work experience would also be included on the typical CV, which details the applicant's employment history, including job titles, names of employers, dates of employment and a brief description of responsibilities and accomplishments in each role. Another key piece of information on a CV is the educational background, which allows the applicant to list their academic achievements, including any qualifications earned, institutions attended, graduation dates and any relevant coursework or honours. And the final key section is skills and certifications, which highlights the applicant's skills and certifications which are relevant to the role that they are applying for. These recruitment documentations serve as essential tools for businesses to effectively identify, evaluate and select the most suitable candidates for a job vacancy. The person specification and job description help define the criteria for the role, while the application form and CV allow applicants to showcase their qualifications and experiences in alignment with those criteria.